Hello, my name is Bruce Devlin. Welcome to Bruce's Shorts. Today we ask, what is IMF and what's it for? Well, imagine that you have a title and you're trying to put multiple versions of that title out. You might have a 4x3 airline version. You might have a 16x9 TV version. You might have a super widescreen cinema version. And what you're trying to do is to build a workflow where you can create the right version for the right content at the right time. Now what's interesting today is that we might have different editorial versions for different regions and we might have different technical versions for different platforms. You might have titles that might have hundreds of different versions because it's going all the way around the world because you have to have different languages, different conformance edits, different, different everything for all those different versions. Without IMF, you're forced to render out lots of full-length movies that you have to QC. That costs money. With IMF, you can record just the differences between the different versions and create a standardized recipe, if you like, to put it all together so you can chuck it into an engine and make the right version at the right place at the right time in a standard way. You can think of it a bit like baking a cake. We could go to Walmart to buy all of our stuff. We take our shopping list and we put the stuff we need in a bag. We then take our recipe and we put it into the food mixer. We then put it in the right shaped tin in the oven and bake our cake. IMF has the equivalent. We have a facility with all of our stuff. From that facility, we have a list of things that we need for our particular versions. We then have a recipe about how to make that version. We then decide what shape to bake it in and stick it into our transcode engines. We then have the right version of the right stuff at the right time. So IMF is a standardized way of reducing the cost of multi-version production. If you want to know the fine details, take the SMPT course on IMF. If you just want a high-level view, watch the next few Bruce's Shorts. Thanks for watching.